last time you met a sister here that got admission to Oxford University for PhD. So this is one of them again here today. And uh, we have many, many, many. Let's listen to the sister here. Emmanuel Greetings Church. My name is Mary Jean and Leah, and I am turning 21 years old today, and I am from Botswana. I came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations as an ordinary visitor. I was arranged in the prayer line to be prayed for by the wise men. And after my week-long visit, just like every other visitor, we got to see the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, one-on-one -on -one in his office. In his office, I told him that I had no father. Not that I had no father, but I had no father that was taking care of my educational fees. And I needed a father to take care of my educational fees. He informed me that I need only Jesus Christ to be my father and that Jesus Christ will be my father and take care of all the needs that I have. From then on, I became a SCOAN scholarship recipient. I would always come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations during my school holidays and receive the messages of the prophet. My spiritual life was catered for. I didn't have nightmares like many university students have. I had my financial needs taken care of as well. My accommodation, my feeding costs, and my school fees was all catered for. And thanks be to God, whilst I was at school, I would have the prophet phone me occasionally to encourage me. As a matter of fact, he would call when things at school was really difficult, when I felt that the workload was really just overwhelming me, and he would encourage me to study hard and to pray hard as well, to work as if it all depended on me, and to pray as if it all depended on God. And thanks be to God, today I am here to glorify the name of the Lord. I am to graduate in April next year. I have obtained a distinction or first class result for law at the University of Pretoria in South Africa. We've just listened to the sister. She said her name is Mary Jane Leah. She's 21 years old and she's from Botswana. She said she came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations as a visitor, just like every other person. And after the prayer line, it was time to go back to their various countries. And all visitors were to see the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, one-on-one. -on -one. She said when she got to him, she told him that she had no father who was responsible for the schooling and that she wanted to sue her father to court because of failure to take responsibility of her education. She said she told him she needed a father, and the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, told her that Jesus would be her father, and that the father she needed was Jesus, and he would do everything for her. And from then on, she became a beneficiary of the Synagogue Church of All Nations scholarship scheme. She said the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, when she went back, provided her scholarship, and when she went back to her country, he would call her and counsel her while at school. He said, now, to the glory of God, she came out with an excellent result, and uh, she had a distinction. In other words, a first-class result. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? By the grace of God, I am also to intern at the International Criminal Court at The Hague because of this distinction result, and the internship program will be a two-month program. She said right now because of the beautiful result that she got, which is a distinction, a first-class result, she said she has been given an internship at The Hague in the Netherlands to come and study for a two-month program in law. People of God, had it not been for Prophet T.B. Joshua, what would have happened to me? I would be like many university students around there, merely wandering around with no sense of direction. I could have perhaps abandoned school because of the difficulty in financing my studies. But thanks be to God, I was a SCOAN scholarship beneficiary. People in authority out there, where you can help, please do help. It is only by the grace of God that I am here today. 
I am not only the SCO and scholarship beneficiary. There are many students out there that are, you know, that are SCO and scholarship beneficiaries. There are others at the University of Oxford, such as Yinka. There are others at the University of Cambridge and universities all around the world. If it hadn't been for Prophet T.B. Joshua, even this distinction result would not have been possible because of the difficulty at my school. Prophet T.B. Joshua is being used by God as an instrument to raise many people out there. Are you talking about the footballer, Onaz, who, was a, who is one of the top footballers? Are you talking about the wise men who week in, week out, miraculously amaze the world because of the miraculous works they perform? These are people that were raised by Prophet T.B. Joshua. And I am one of those people that have been raised with a distinction result and about to intern at the International Criminal Court at The Hague. You've just listened to the sister. She said that if not for the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet T.B. Joshua and Emmanuel TV Partners, she didn't know where she would have been today. Maybe she would have been roaming on the streets because of the irresponsibility of uh, nobody being able to take care of her education. She said, and uh, by the grace of God, she's not the only one who is a part of this scholarship scheme that we know of great footballers that the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, have inspired and raised people like Onazi, students all over the world in Oxford and in many other schools all around the world. She said, if not for the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua, and the counseling that she received through him, she wouldn't know where she would have been today. I thank you, Prophet T.B. Joshua, for the encouragement and the wonderful advice that you have been giving me throughout my university career. We learn you are going for your master, where? I have also applied for a master's at the University of Cambridge and London School of Economics, and also for a BCL at the University of Oxford. I am positively awaiting their response. You've heard from the sister. She said she's also applied for a master's program at the London School of Economics and also the University of Cambridge and the University of Oxford. And she, right now she's waiting for her response from the universities. So thank you. You have listened to that. Wow. She's celebrating her birthday today, 21. She's 21 years old. So that's all for prayer. Thank you, thank you. Happy birthday.